Cam, how would you characterize, I guess, the, the mood of the team right now at this point? I'd say passion. Uh, it's a battle every time somebody steps in the box, somebody uh, steps on that mound. It's just it's a lot of fun, a lot of energy. What, what did this summer mean to you going up to the Cape? I know you had a pretty good time up there. Yeah, it was it was a pretty cool experience. It's something I never really experienced uh, being away from home that the whole summer and uh, you know kind of doing things on my own and like you know not having my mom by my side all the time. It was a great lesson to, to be learned for sure. It was it was a great time. A year ago to now, just over the last year, how much different is it going into year two? No one to expect comfort level, all sorts of things like that. Yeah, I, I kind of know what to expect now. Like just just from playing so much and uh, having so many at bats, like I, I know how they're going to attack me. Like I kind of prepared for that. Um, you know, you kind of got to go up there looking for what you're going to get and not like what you want to hit. Um, so I, I do feel more comfortable in that aspect. Coming into last year, there was high expectations of going, you know, Wings first year. Then the season played out, it was not a great season for you guys. Um, what's the mood in the locker room looking at how you guys think you're going to do this year? We kind of just put it to the side and, you know, it's, it's a whole new vibe now. So, I mean, we, we just move on and we just keep going. What's it like knowing, I guess, what the expectations are heading into this season versus, you know, new staff last year? Right. I feel like uh, there, there's not as much pressure as there was last year uh, just because we had new, new, new coaching staff and all that. And, uh, like a whole new team basically and, and this year I mean it's kind of the same thing but you know obviously with all that adversity it's like you know we don't have as much eyes on us so I feel like going out there just playing without any any tension. That, that first week in the Cape was a little slow for you but afterwards you kind of tore it up just what adjustments did you make was it more so approach or, or something in your swing? I say more approach um, I calmed down a lot in the box uh, I stopped really Put, like putting pressure on myself, stop setting expectations on myself, just going out there and having fun. Um, I feel like the issue was I was just trying to do too much, trying to be somebody who I wasn't. So as soon as I calmed down in the box and just let my game speak for itself, I feel like I was good. Are there one or two, I guess, valuable lessons, kind of the most valuable things you learned during your freshman season now entering year two? Yeah. Um, like I was talking about with, with Brett, I, just being calm. It's, it's such a big part of the game. Like, this is not football, like it's not an adrenaline type game. Like you gotta be calm in the box no matter what, like any situation and like, you know, just every every muscle in your body gotta be loose and that's how you think clearly is when you're calm. How you feeling in the field, you know, for fielding? How you, how's that coming on for you? I like it, I like their base. It's, it's uh, a challenge compared to shortstop. Um, I feel like it does make me a better fielder, so I, I enjoy their base, I do, I do. Has that kind of slowed down with more reps and more experience as well? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Last year, I, everything was kind of sped up on me, I, I feel like. And you know, part of that's on me, I just think it too much. But uh, I, I do feel comfortable over there now. It's kind of my spot. Obviously, Link works with everyone as the head coach, but specifically with you guys as infielders every day at practice. Just what's that like and, and how much do you enjoy having him help you out over there? I love it. Uh, he's our hitting coach and fielding coach, so he's like, always helping me on every aspect of the game. Um, you know, every rep he's always paying attention to me and trying to like, you know, fix some things he sees to, just to make me an even better fielder. And it means a lot. And I, I do appreciate his help. Y'all you know, have added quite a few uh, transfers in the, in the lineup, I guess. I know it's only been a few weeks. What are, your, what are your initial thoughts on some of the guys you brought in? I love them all. Uh, I mean, they, they mesh together well. Um, we hang out a lot. Uh, it's, it's fun being in the weight room with them because we challenge each other. and. Uh, you know, try to see who can who can be the biggest dog in there. So it's it's pretty cool. It's just a whole competition with us. It's it's awesome. When you're facing the guys that are out there on the mound now, does it just seem like more variety out on the mound? It just more ability to spin the breaking ball and stuff like that. Yeah, I feel like uh, there's a lot more different looks uh, to these pitchers now. It's like not everybody has the same arm slot, same movement on the on the ball, on the fastball. So we have a lot of different looks. Um, you know, it's a good sign, obviously. Just not to have the same same old arms and uh, it's exciting. I mean, I, I feel like our future is pretty bright. You played 100 games between the season and then and then summer. Just what was that like on your body? Did you enjoy it? And does it kind of prepare you for the future of going into pro ball? Yeah, I, I did enjoy it because, um, you know, you, you get to play every day and you don't really have time to think about your performance. You just keep going out there and keep playing. And it, d it definitely does set you up for uh, the next level because they do play every day and it's, it's it's a lot more so I did enjoy that part of it. Speaking on that like you know having to play more games did you learn how to keep, you know, keep your body healthy like a different way or like you know what you have to learn from a like full season like almost a full season? Yeah um, 
I actually, for the first time, I went uh, to get massages like throughout the summer just to keep my body right. Um, I know those pro athletes do the same, and I just felt like it was necessary for you know the first time of, of my go through and uh, whole summer and playing every day. So I felt like that was necessary to do things like that just to keep my body right. What is the level of optimism for you guys this season? What are you seeing that gives you that sense of optimism? I'd say it's great. Um, with, with just with the talent we got from the transfer portal and, and even the incoming freshmen, I feel like, I mean, the, the sky's the limit. Like, we have a lot of optimism. There's, there's no doubt in our mind that we'll, you know, we'll, we'll do better this year.